Wizard series of video blogs, choosing the right camera to suit your needs. Here we have a very popular camera which can be used either internally or externally. The internal version of the camera comes in white rather than a grey background. When you get the camera out of the box, it comes complete and assembled with a connector on the end. This gives you your power feed and your video feed. Halfway down the wire you'll find a tiny little control box. The control box allows the camera to have backlight compensation, shutter speed adjustments and these adjustments are all made during the installation period of the camera. If you're mounting the camera directly onto a ceiling or onto a wall and you want to pass the cable through the wall, please bear in mind that you will need a 32mm hole. Alternatively, the engineers can use an IP66 external enclosure or junction box. The camera comes complete on a screw gimbal, which you can take off. This gives you three pieces. This piece here is the base, which it mounts, and a hole is made behind the base. The wires pass through the hole, and the camera is then pre-assembled. The idea of the gimbal is it can give you a better image, because you can angle it towards the image you want, unlike a traditional tin can camera. Around the edge here, you'll see a ring of LEDs. On this particular camera, it's good for 30 meters night vision in black and white. Each side of the camera, you have two little adjustments, which is done at point of installation, the zoom and the focus. This um, goes from 2.8 to 11 millimeter, which gives you an approximate three times zoom. These cameras are ideal for home or business use, including inside of shops, outside of shops. Once the camera is installed, we set it up and this particular camera gives you a 650 TVO image, which is a crisp, clear image. Later in the show, we'll be connecting this camera to a DVR and we'll show you the picture of the image. Thank you very much.